Hi guys, I'm June, and today we are going to be making my modern milk maid dress. This dress has lovely, rather kevish, a smock stitch on the back that helps the fit, and use spaghetti straps instead of the traditional lovely sleeves, which give it the more modern look. This pattern is one of my personal favorites, and I love it as a casual summer dress. Okay, let's get started. Here are the material needed to make the dress. So I use the chiffon uh, fabric for the, this dress, but chiffon a little bit see-through, so I also use the lining for this. I also use the interfacing for um, this dress because the fabric that I use is thin and it's see-through. So if you have like thicker fabric, you don't need to use interfacing for this dress. We also need um, elastic string for the smock on the back and the hidden zipper. And here is my pattern. You can buy it on Etsy. I will leave the link below in the description. Since the chiffon fabric, I'm using it transparent. I'm going to start off by ironing interfacing into the top pieces. Just remember that if you use thicker fabric, you don't need to use interfacing at all. Cut out all the pieces using the main fabric and make sure to cut all the notches on the pattern as well. Here I'm cutting the fabric on fold for the skirt pattern on the front piece. So I cut the skirt pattern on the bias because I want the bottom of the skirt to fold nicely, but you guys can feel free to cut it on the gain line if you want to save some fabric. Here are the pieces needed for the pattern. Four pieces for the spaghetti straps, two pieces for the vest, Four pieces for the cup, one piece for the smock, four pieces for the back side of the dress. Here is the main fabric and the lining fabric for the skirt front. Here are the back skirt pieces uh, for the main fabric and the lining fabric. We are going to work on the smock piece first. The first step is to double fold and stitch the top seam of the fabrics. The elastic smock piece will give the top of the dress some stitchiness and allow the top sizing to be more forgiving on bigger busts. I'm going to load the elastic string into my bobbin by hand. We cannot do this by machine since it is elastic string. Afterwards, Load the bobbins in the bobbin case and adjust the notch to make it more loose for the elastic strings. You will need to play around with the bobbin case notch, the stitch length there on your machine and the tension knob on your machine to make the smock to your preference. I personally want a tight stitchy smock so I'm going to be changing my stitching length there on my machine to 5, which is the longest option. And I'm increasing the string tensions on the tension knob for my machine. Again, pay around with different settings on your machine to get the smock how you like it. Stitch back and forth down the smock piece, leaving about half a centimeter in between the stitching. Making a smock piece is time consuming but I think it will make the dress look a lot better in the end. After you finish with the smock, iron it out. Once you're finished with your smock, Paste the smock block on the top of the smock and cut it. This will make the smock the light side for the dress. 
and then sew along the side seams of the smock to lock the seams. Here on the skirt piece, I decide to put interfacing tape along the seams. The interfacing tape will make the fabrics a little bit stronger so that the fabric doesn't ripple. Stitch the center back of the skirt together. Stitch the front piece and the back piece together on the side seam. But don't forget to leave like 10 to 13 inches for the zipper. Cut a notch at the end of the zipper, then overlock all the seams except for the seams of the zipper. If you don't have an overlock machine, you guys can use the zigzag function of your sewing machine instead. After you finish overlocking, press all the seams. Remember, we left the zipper seam open for putting the zipper later. Press the zipper seam open. Now we will be gathering the bottom of the bar. Adjust the street length down to the longest setting. Stitch three lines between the marked notches. Each line should be half a centimeter apart. Pull on the thread to gather the bottom of the bar. Stitch and lock the spaghetti straps for the shoulder. The spaghetti strap should be 13 inches to 15 inches depending on your size. If you don't know how to make spaghetti strap, check out my YouTube channel for the tutorial. Stitch the center bar together. Start at the mark center notch and stitch to the bottom of the bar. The top half of the bar will be where we have our spaghetti drawstring. Do this for the main fabric and lining fabric. Stitch the main fabric and lining fabric together. Okay guys, when we stitch the lining and the main fabric together, we also need to stitch the center seams in. Pay extra attention to how my fingers prepare the center seam as I stitch the fabric together. This is a small finishing touch that will prevent the inner seam from being pulled out of the draw string hole when you turn your top. Unfold the center seam and stitch it together. Leave the top 1 cm of the bar for the drawstring pocket.
And this is how the drawstring hole should turn out. Now I'll stitch the drawstring pocket along the top of the bar. Using a safety pin, string spaghetti straps to the drawstring pocket. Two inches from the armpit, stitch and lock the spaghetti strap into the pocket. Stitch the waist pieces to the bar pieces. For the main fabric and the lining fabric, stitch the back pieces to the smock. All right, things are starting to come together. Hopefully you guys are all still with me. Now I will stitch the side together to connect the front and the back. I'm only stitching one side right now, and later on, I will stitch the zipper aside. So the way I stitch the main fabric and the lining together will be a little bit confusing because I want the seam to be as clean as possible. There are easier ways to stitch the front and the back together if you don't mind seeing open seam inside your dress. However, this is a really professional finish and is how I sew for my brand's customers. If you are okay with the open seams, go ahead and sew the pieces together how you like it. But I wanted to share this technique with you guys and hopefully I don't confuse you too much. Thank you. 
Now we are going to attach the spaghetti straps into the back side of the dress. Piece stitch the spaghetti straps next to the smock seam to lock the spaghetti strap into place. Later, we will stitch the armhole and spaghetti straps together. Pin and stitch the armhole piece to connect the main fabric and lining fabric. Do this for both armholes. We are almost done. We will be attaching the main fabric and the lining fabric to the size of the elastic smock. This part can be confusing, but if you follow these steps, you will be left with a seamless finish to your stitching. If you are a beginner, feel free to stitch the top and skirt together and leave the seams inside of the dress. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you a seamless finish. Pin the top and the bottom of the dress together. Pay attention to how I pin the fabric to the smock piece in this video. First, on the zipper size that we left open for the zipper, we need to attach the main fabric of the skirt piece to the size back piece of the top. Afterwards, stitch the smock piece to the main fabric of the skirt. Then, stitch the other side back piece of the top to the main fabric of the skirt. Stitch all the way around the dress to fully connect the skirt and top until you reach the zipper seam.
Now, DP the steps we just did for the lining fabric as well. This is a challenging, confusing technique. So repeat the video a couple times if you need to. If you made it through this section, give yourself a pat on the back. I finished stitching all the seams. Here is how the results should look. You can see our beautiful seamless stitch. Now that we are done stitching the skirt to the top, it's time to attack the zipper. Here is where the zipper is gonna go. To stitch the zipper, I always like pre-stitching the zipper into the main fabric first so that the zipper align with the seam. Afterwards, I chain the sewing foot on my machine to fully stitch the zipper into both the main fabric and the lining fabric.
Since I used the same skirt pattern for the main fabric and lining fabric, I'm going to trim the lining fabric one inch. For the hem, I'm going to overlock the fabric first since my fabric is so thin. Then I'm going to double fold the fabric and stitch. I will be doing this for both the main fabric and lining fabrics. Here is the finished drawstring that we can tie. I'm going to clean up the spaghetti straps. And we are done! I think this is the perfect summer dress for me. I would love to see how your dresses turn out. If you'd like to share, text me on IG with your new dress. I always enjoy seeing my patterns on you guys. See you guys in the next one.